I was at the 2010 Emmys along with the rest of the cast of The Office. It was my first award show and I was giddy. I wore a dark forest green strapless gown on loan from a place called Film Fashion. I had fake eyelashes and my hairdresser had molded my hair into a Michael Pitt coif. I was owning life and I had no reason to apologize. Then I met Ricky Gervais. Oh my gosh, I squealed. It's so nice to meet you. I'm new on the show. Ricky Gervais gave me a small, polite smile and quickly nudged the woman he was with to keep walking. I wondered if I had overstepped a boundary. Ricky Gervais, of course, had created the British office, but was I not supposed to speak to foreigners at an American award show? It wasn't until the governor's ball, gnawing on room temperature chicken satay and bloody filet mignon, that I learned Ricky Gervais had been spooked by our encounter. What do you mean? I asked B.J. Novak, who had relayed the news. He thought that you said, I'm you on the show, B.J. told me. I was stunned. That sentence that B.J. had just repeated back to me didn't make any sense. How could I think I was him on the show? I cried, beef blood dribbling down my chin. Who could ever think that they are a different person than they actually are? It occurred to me then that this very thing, thinking you are a different person than you actually are, is precisely what actors do on a daily basis. I suddenly felt like I was going to throw up, and I excused myself to the ladies' room, where I stuffed as many mini hairsprays and lip glosses as I could into my borrowed Judith Lieber clutch, and then, head held high, made my way to the valet line.